Hi, I'm Stefania Birer. I'm orthopedic surgeon. I work in Valdivia at the hospital and also the clinic. And now we are going to perform some hip examination with this patient, Isabella. We are going to perform a normal hip examination for the first in supine position with the uh, patella looking upwards and the knee in extension. At the first time, you have to control the pelvis movement and you have to put your hand over the pelvis and to roll the hip in external rotation and compare with the other hip in external rotation. Then you have to look for the internal rotation of the right and then to the left. You can also look for the abduction with the hip in neutral, and you put the leg like this and look the angles of abduction. Then you compare it with the other hip, and it goes like this. You can also look the abduction, but you have to cross the other leg in with a bit of flexion, like this. And then, like this. Now we're going to look for all the range of movement in 90 degrees of flexion, like this. But we um, press down the pelvis and look for the maximal flexion of this hip. It's like about 110 degrees. We compare with the other, fixing the pelvis so we don't have any other movements or like this. And then we look for the extension, but I'm going to examine the other hip with the maximal flexion, and you have to look for the movement of the other hip, like this. So you're looking the extension. And then you go with 90 degrees of flexion, you look for the abduction, fixing your pelvis, then go again, fixing your pelvis in 90 degrees of flexion. You look for the abduction. Okay, you can compare both. They are both normally. And right now, you, you make the abduction like this. And like this, excellent. And finally, we look for the rotations in 90 degrees. A hip flexion, you look for the internal rotation. You can compare with this one. Internal rotation, okay. And at the end, the external rotation. So, and so. This is how you make a normal range of movement examination of the hip. To complete our hip examination, we put our patient, in this case, our model Isabella, in the prone position with the knee in neutral position and also um, the knees in 90 degree. Um, to look to the internal rotation, you can make this sign to look for the symmetry between both hips, okay? To avoid the pelvic tilt, you have to put one hand over the pelvis and to look for the external rotation like this, okay? And compare it with the other leg, so. Also, we can look for the extension, fixing the pelvis and making a soft traction to the leg and look for the extension of each hip, like this.